Good morning guys, this is Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my good midlife crisis. I'm journeying through my 40s working very hard to get my poop in a group. And to do that, I am working on my financial, my physical, and my mental health. And this is a physical health journey. It is Wednesday. I am in my bathroom and we are going to be doing my weekly Wednesday weigh-in or weekly Wednesday, when, wait, weekly weigh-in Wednesday. That's what it is. Uh, too many w's i can't alliterate that well okay so i'm gonna be just straight up honest with y'all i am confident that when i step on the scale it will be up and it will probably be up by a couple of pounds i just feel you know how you can tell in your body like i'm retaining all kinds of crud i feel like i've been eating all kinds of crud sorry my rug is all wrinkled and it's bothering my feet um i just feel like i'm gonna be up and i actually considered not doing this way in but I want to be real and some weeks are just going to be up. And again, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I'm okay with that. Um, but it is a little bit discouraging, but I know it's not like I've been exercising. Like I had barely gone to the gym at all in the last couple of weeks. Um, it's not like I've been working really hard and I'm gaining weight. So the fact that I'm gaining weight, or at least that I'm pretty sure I'm gaining weight is no big surprise. I, I just need to, um, I just, it's going to have to be a reminder to myself that I really am going to have to get on track and watch what I'm eating and continue to go to the gym. Um, hopefully the last of my big distractions are out of the way. My, uh, all of my October trips are done. My baby great nephew is here and I, I really shouldn't have too much going on to distract me going forward. Obviously it's almost Thanksgiving and then I have a church retreat that weekend and then comes the boys come home for the holidays for Christmas and then it's Christmas and then it's New Year's. Um, but as far as like actual plans that I have, I should be pretty good. Um, okay. This was a very long intro. Normally I try to keep this short, short for Becky. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and turn this around and, uh, see, see what I weigh. Let's check it out together. Okay, for reference, I'm pretty sure it was 282.4 last week is what I think I was. Close to that. Yeah, I'm up 1.2 pounds, which, if we're being honest, is better than I expected. But, uh, yeah, it's up. So that's okay. Um, that's, yeah, okay. And then Becky in the mirror. Here we go. Oh, my hair is so long. I need a haircut so badly. Uh, there we go. That's what I look like. Okay. I'm going to cut to Saturday, Becky, so she can uh, talk even more to you and sum things up. Today is Wednesday. I am in my bathroom, and we are going to be doing my we weekly Wednesday weigh-in. Weekly weigh-in Wednesday. That's what I'm doing. And y'all, I'm super fancy now. So, just so you know... I have a camera and I have a gimbal and I have it's got like a remote control thing and I feel so super fancy but I have absolutely no idea how the microphone works on this thing so I guess we'll find out together I could record this whole thing and uh, it not, you not be able to hear me um, but I feel like the microphone's really not good on my phone anyway so hopefully it's at least the same if not better better would be better um so hi I uh, I did a weigh-in last week, which you will have seen right before I did this one, but I did not post a video on Saturday. Saturday was super busy for me. I didn't even, like, I just didn't do, I loved Saturday. Sa this weekend was so good for me, and I did nothing, and it was wonderful, and I needed it so very much, um, but I did not get a video up. So this will be two weeks in one, so I'm going to try to keep this as, you know, short as possible. I do not know if I'm up or down from last week. Y'all, my body is just being so weird, and we'll go more into that in a second when you see me on Saturday, hopefully. Um, but for right now, let's just spin this around and uh, get on the scale and see what it says. All right, I gotta figure out how to do this where I can hold this and you can still see what I am seeing. So, because this gimbal won't get in the way. Two eighty-two point two. And if I am not mistaken, that is down from last week. So I believe that that is good. 
So I just filmed this whole section, but I cut my face off for like half of it, so let me try it again. So here is May in the mirror. What I look like this week. There we go. Um, probably about the same. Try, how do I zoom in? There we go. I don't know how to do this thing. Um, anyway, I am gonna go because I've already filmed this section twice and I have to go get ready for work because it's Wednesday and I work on Wednesdays, but I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in just a second on Saturday. Hey, Saturday Becky finally here to sum up the last two weeks since I missed last Saturday. Last Saturday was a little bit of an exciting day for me because I booked a cruise. I know I talked about doing it. I have headphones in for no reason. I know I talked about doing it um, as part of a... It's definitely a mental health thing more than it is anything else because it's not good for my financial health. Um, it's not bad for my physical health. I think it, it won't hurt me at all. It actually gives me a goal to work toward for like weight loss um, to be good to go on this cruise. But I am so, 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 so excited. Um, I've always wanted to go on a cruise. So because I spent Saturday morning just completely obsessing and booking that cruise, I did not get this filmed. Um, so... Let's sum up the last two weeks, shall we? I just want to give a little bit of a disclaimer before I start talking because if you have a problem with the sharp things, then you might want to skip some of this because I'm going to talk about that. And I am going to go into what could be construed as a little bit TMI. And if you are maybe a male friend of mine and are uncomfortable with that, then maybe skip this part as well. Um, but I have things that I want to update y'all on because my body is being very, very weird and I don't know what's going on. So just just as an FYI, if this is going to make you uncomfortable, maybe skip this video. And that's totally cool. You've already seen my way in, so you've already got probably most of what you came from. For, not from. So I want to start off by saying, going over the weight. So I went, as you can see, last week I was up. Like 1.2 pounds I was up for some reason. I don't know why. My body is just being weird. And then this week I'm back down to before to lower than what I was two weeks ago. So I was 282.4 and then I was 283.6 and then I was 282.2. Like I can't keep track of it. So I'm back down to 19 pound loss overall, which is where I was like a month ago, which I'm fine with. I'm happy with this. Like, and now here's where I'm going to be getting into the TMI. So, ladies, you know that, you know how you can tell when your period is about to start? Like, you just feel ick, and you're crampy, and you don't feel good. Um, I have been feeling that way for, like, three weeks, and I don't know what's going on. And for, like, the last two weeks, I've actually had, like, a mini period. And it's weird. It's not, like, a regular one. It's just... My body is bloating. My body is retaining everything that it comes into contact with. I am uncomfortable. I am tired. And I don't know why. And the only thing that I can think of is that I started a new weight loss medication when I went to this doctor. And it may be interfering with my birth control. Now, I use birth control to regulate my hormones. Once I turned 40, my doctor uh, prescribed it, suggested it is what I was trying to say, um, to try to regulate my hormones and get everything regular because I've never been a regular person. And I'm just, I just was used to it. But now for the past two years, I have been. And so I'm very used to knowing exactly when everything is going to be happening and where I am and what's going on. And the last three weeks, two weeks especially, I'm all over the map and I don't know what's going on and I don't know why. And this is where the sharp things comes in if you're going to be uh, turned off by that. So I have been for the last week and a half, two weeks, taking, it's called Sexenda, S-A-X-E-N-D-A. And uh, it's like little daily, and I just gave myself one so I still have it. It's little daily. You screw this needle onto the, oh, I can't get it out now, but you screw this on, this comes off, and then you put it on here, and you screw it on, and then you see, you can't even see that needle. It's so fine. 
I think they say it's like four hairs length, four hairs breadth. It's so, 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 so small. Like you can barely feel it. And it's a, it's not supposed to, it does. It is an appetite suppressant. Like I have not been hungry at all, which is probably how I lost that one and a half pounds again. Um, but I think that it might be messing with my, uh, with my birth control. And I don't know that for sure. I just have the little trial box that my doctor gave me. Um, she did order me a prescription of this and it's in at H-E-B. <laughs> Y'all, I went to go pick it up. Guess how much my copay is. This is just a copay for, I believe it's one month. $1,150. A month. And that's not going to go away when I meet my deductible. Because I've already met my deductible. It's just not covered. So, that's obviously not going to happen. But I did find a discount card. And I'm going to try the discount card today. I'm going to try to go over there and see if that works. Because this is working very, very well for me for weight loss. But if it is, if if I can get it. And it is interfering with my with my birth control. I don't know if I want to keep taking it because I've been miserable the last couple of weeks. If it's not related to that, then I don't know what it is. And I'm going to have to follow up with my doctor because maybe I need a different birth control now. Maybe my body is just done with this one and it's not working anymore. I don't know. But this is what's been going on with me physically. I'm just feeling weird. It's not, I'm not feeling myself. My body just feels foreign to me and I can't tell what's going on and I don't like that. And I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. So I did want to talk about also, so I talked about this. I did want to mention also that I went yesterday and I had what they call an RMR done. It's a resting metabolic rate. And I will insert a picture here of what I look like. I took a super, super flattering selfie of myself. You have to breathe into this tube. They like plug your nose and you breathe into this tube for 10 minutes. And then it like based on your breath tells you how much, how many calories you burn and uh, how much food you need to eat. Anyway, so my calorie burning at just a resting if I'm not doing anything just staying alive my body burns 2002 calories a day which is apparently right on average and then my lifestyle and activity and my exercise add another 808 calories burning a day to that and they can tell all of this from my breathing like I don't know how it does that it's a magic machine so my total calories I burn a day are 2810 and that is I guess, right on par with where I should be. That's average for my age group. So she is saying, it says my maintenance zone, if I didn't want to lose weight, if I wanted to stay where I am, I need to eat between 2,002 and 2,602 calories a day. Weight loss zone would be 1,602 to 2,002. And then if I was going to do medically supervised, it'd be under 1,602. I'm not going to do that. Um, so she recommends me to do an 1,800 calorie a day uh diet and then she also said and based on all of this which it's got all these little things at the bottom I don't know what that means because I'm not a doctor but apparently I can do like 60% protein 40% carb in my diet um and still lose weight so I'm very happy with that because I'm a carboholic which is why the celiac thing is not very much fun for me so they recommend 135 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat, and 180 grams of carbs. And that, and then she told me to switch. So I do go to the gym and normally I do a warm up on a treadmill. And she told me to switch my warm up on the treadmill to a cool down on the treadmill. So do all of my like weights and things first and then do the treadmill at the end. And that's better for burning fat. So I did not know that. If you did not know that, um, and you are trying to also burn fat, and you're doing like a mix, you should do your cardio at the end for burning fat. And now I know that. So I haven't been back to the gym since yesterday morning, but next time I go, instead of starting on the treadmill, I'll end on the treadmill. So uh, I am excited to try that. Those were really all of the updates. I don't know how this magic machine tells all of that from me breathing into a tube for 10 minutes, but it's not covered by insurance, it, it, but it was only $75 for this. So I figured whatever, I'm paying for all the other medical things, I might as well pay for this too. Um, anyway, uh, if you can get that, it, it's really cool. Like it wasn't fun to breathe into that thing for 10 minutes, but just to 
just to have them tell you what you can do and what you need and what's going to work for you specifically and not just based off of like your age, weight, height, and like generalizations. It's like you, Becky Van Pelt, this is what you need to do to lose weight. That's really helpful. I've never had that. And for me, that's worth $75. Now these, not worth eleven fifty a month. Not at all. Especially not if it's messing with my body. But um, I'll just go back to the pills I was taking. I still have the 90-day supply that found sent me right before I quit. Um, they told me to keep it. I, they couldn't take it back, and I felt bad, but I still have that. And then this doctor did tell me that she would look into other things if this doesn't work because this is very, very expensive. Um, okay, I think that's everything I wanted to say. It's going to be slightly longer than normal because this is two weeks, but I'm trying to keep it short. So sorry if I'm talking too fast. I am going to be today. My friend is coming up today to hang out, but I'm going to try to work on uh, a couple of other videos for y'all because I know, and I am sorry that I have been so behind, but everything has just been so up in the air and so all over the place, but I'm hoping that everything is going to be settling down. I, I know I say that every week, but I really do hope that. Um, and, and I'm on my new camera. I'm so excited about my new camera. Um, and I hopefully, hopefully it's working. Let me know if you think this is better quality or if you prefer the laptop, um, because I haven't, compared them. I'm still filming on this right, right now. Okay, I'm going to go. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up on your way out and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. I would love, love, love to have you come along with me. I hope y'all are having the best, best day wherever you are and I will talk to you later. Bye.